you with Graham Mabry and first of all, have a listen to this. the work of Andy Cox, who joins me now. Hi, Andy. Hi, again, uh, Graham. Hey, good to talk to you, mate. Yeah, I like no see. Yeah, well, I'm glad I rediscovered that. And the story actually uh, begins, well, the, the, the interesting part of your story, uh, well, first of all, tell us about that. What is that piece? That piece of music uh, is an expression of uh, years of turmoil after a head injury, really, I suppose. Mm. And... Uh, you can express yourself through poetry or music and I just went into studios, organised session players and with a friend of mine Andy Court in his studio just whacked it all together and it was massive impulse and expression. It was a big trauma, tremor really more than a trauma. Yeah, well you, I mean you had, the reason that we crossed paths is you, you were at uh, a Common Health Games that I was at. That's right, and my wife's very involved with the Common Health Games with the, with the aged people. That's it. All getting together and it's a great venue. Yeah, I now, think. you were co you were actually comatosed in 1981. Yeah, that's right. I was out for about four or five days. It's a the depth of unconsciousness, the level was quite low, I was, I was quite out of it. And after I came around, I sort of didn't know my mum and dad and 27 friends by my bedside. And, you know, so I had a big long road to fight back before I even got onto Australian soil. So this happened in the UK? That happened in the UK, yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, you had not met your wife then? No, that was another great experience in my life. I came to Perth in uh, uh, 88 and bumped into this fantastic redhead and uh, got blown away again. <laughs> there you go. So this, so what, what you, you came out of hospital uh, in the UK yeah. and uh, did that piece of work? No, no, I did it here. Oh, okay. It was years and years of, of, of uh, a backlog of mentality yep. uh, before I sort of found a way to express myself. You know, um, when you're mentally retarded and, and a very introvert, you, you have to find a way to get it out of your brain, so to speak, and get all that uh, mess out of your brain. And that was a massive release of of uh, all the brain trauma and all the stuff that was wound in around in my head all the while, and I couldn't express it because you're sort of introverted when you've had frontal lobe damage and uh, you just can't get it out. So that was the way I did it. And I found that way just through friends in the music trade, really. What are you doing with yourself these days, Andy? Well, I'm sitting here at the uh, at the office desk. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I've got boxes of like you're, you're buried. I'm buried as well. <laughs> yeah. I've got boxes of that CD itself, and I still just post them out for free to to anybody who who I get in touch with. Really, I just get inspired just to send it off to absolutely anybody. I've, I've dumped it on London record shops and uh, some some purse shops and and uh, people that come along my path. You know, I just just in the look of God, really. I think if it's going to happen, it's going to happen just by luck, mm. because it's a big company issue with music. And um, I got the 
ABC Airplay, Triple J, and The Rage took the video clip on. Excellent. I'm just looking at my CCS report. It's last November, and yeah. it's got royalties, so... <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> me go up as well, so... <laughs> so, that's, so... So, really, you've used music as a way of healing for yourself, 